Before we start, if this is still green behind me, that means I was lazy about taking out the background. So if I say anything about the background, taking something out, just ignore it. Feels like I'm gonna be like, I'm in my confessional for loving hip hop. That's what it feel like. That had the nerve to come to me and say me. She don't even know me like that. But no. So two Latresses. It feels really good to kind of like be back. You guys know I take my breaks, and this was a longer break than I anticipated. But I actually did the review for this hair like three weeks ago, and the way my hairline was looking in that video, which I'll put like a clip or a picture here. So if you follow me on Snapchat, then you know, you know, I had this on and I did a video, or whatever. I just didn't like it, so I took it out. Redid it, replucked it, reapplied it, and girl, baby snatch. So sometimes I have to go back to the drawing board because in person it looks a certain way, but on camera it looks completely different. So yeah. So this hair is from Hot Beauty Hair, and I'm gonna, I wanna say that this is a wig, but I mean, it is a wig, but it's like, it's. It's like a lace front wig, but it's a 360, so my band goes all the way around my head, but the tra there are tracks that they put in the middle. And no, for those who are asking, it did not come this color, okay? So I'll get to that in a second, but I want to give you guys the specs on this first, and then we can go to the coloring process and what I did to achieve this look. So I have a loose wave uh, 360 frontal and I have loose wave bundles that I went ahead and straightened. And I will say that after I bleached it, it did keep, keep its original form. Like it didn't get like very straight on me. Although it wasn't as loose wave-ish as it was when I first received it. So think about that because you guys know how chemicals are and if which I'm I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure that this hair was you of course treated to be a loose wave then that with the bleach was not going to keep it in its original state like when you receive it but it's not going to be nothing crazy loose wave can be achieved with just throwing some waves in it and run your fingers through it I mean it's not that deep now as far as my bundles is concerned um I don't know how many was in the wig there are quite a few tracks back here and I'm gonna say this off the rip I did not enjoy the way that whoever sold the tracks to this wig I didn't like the way that they did it and the reason why I didn't like it is because right here on the side I had to like super put a whole bunch of hairspray and a whole bunch of guys to be glued in order to not be able because it was like a split right here and then you was able to actually see the weft which is a no-no um so that was one thing i didn't like about this and then they because they sell them to they sell them separately but the thing is there is uh you know you get like a regular 360 frontal so it's a hole in it you just and that's to put over your head well this actually has a cap already attached to it so you guys know when i get like the spandex caps and then i sew this you don't have to do that part you just have to sew the actual tracks or glue the tracks on and and then there you go so that's what I have it does have an adjustable strap here in the back which I am I'm, I'm loving cuz that's what's keeping my wig on because I got like it like my real hair like tucked up under here as far as the shedding goes before we get to that I'm explain the color and what I used to achieve this color so this wig was an original it was this color the color of my jacket and I was over it I was like I'm really like if you guys notice like my reviews have slowed down because I'm still like like I said before, my testing process is a little bit longer than usual, but on top of that, I'm just getting a little bored. So a lot of hair is starting to have a lot of color to it. Some of it, I leave it like it is, but for the most part, if I wanna have some fun, I'm throwing some color in it. And then the summer's almost over on top of that, and then on top of all of that, my little sister wanted a blonde wig. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make you one, and she wanted this very a la, this is very, well, as you can see from my Beyonce, Destiny Child, and Beyonce and her homegirls intro. It was very Destiny Child, old school Beyonce. This bleach, which I absolutely adore. So that bleach is actually 
it's, it's great for the hair. Like, I've had no issues with it. I actually use that now to do all my coloring. I don't use BW Bleach. I don't use Collada Colors or any of that anymore. I use that bleach to actually color my hair and bleach my um, my actual uh, knot as well. Because that is so thick, it doesn't bleed through like the BW. You know, you have to make it like a... a you have to make it a, a specific consistency with that because it's already thick. I just put some 40, mix it up, make sure it looks like toothpaste. Boom, boom, boom. 25 minutes, rinse, perfect. No bleeding through, no nothing. So if you're just looking for something, you have like a specific bleach you like, but you need something for your knots that's not work, and it doesn't give you that brassy look. God, thank you. So as you can see, I used that. So what I did was I did the... Um, probably about wherever my roots are from here down and then I went and went again after like after a couple of days you know I put some protein on the hair and all that just to make sure that my hair wouldn't fall apart because again this is not hair that I put in here the actual hair the wig came like this so it's like you can't mess it up you mess it up you gonna have to hit the company up and they're gonna be like so what you gonna do so I was like okay so I went ahead and did that, and then I went back and put some highlights in it, which is these lighter pieces here. But I did it, concentrated it only really here in the front area, and then I went back and did the base color of it, which seems very backwards, but I'm a very backwards person, to get all of these tones. So that's why there's a couple of different tones that are going on in my hair, because again, this is specifically for my sister. So she's lighter than me, so she wanted her roots to be dark and then she wanted it to go into a very blonde-ish color. So yeah, it actually turned out very great. So to the shedding part, I received very minimal shedding. And usually when you bleach hair more than once, it ends up being where it wants to shed really, really bad because the hair gets dry, then it wants to, you know, come apart. But as you can see, this is still very, very, very nice. Baby is still hidden and whatever. And on top of that, it's full enough for her. I'm a person who would have probably, if it, if it was me and I actually made this wig, this probably would have about another bundle in it, probably, just because I'm just that extra and I like my hair that full. But because she's not that type of person, I was happy with this because this is the, the average look for the, the working person. She works a regular job, so she can't just be out. And it's been like 155 million degrees here, so therefore, I haven't been wearing a lot of my thick hair for that reason. I wore my 613 hair at night, girl. And I felt like a hole in a stroll because it was so hot. So, yeah. Um, as far as the lace was concerned, I don't know if this lace came with a specific... Because I don't have the card anymore because it's been so damn long. But... I could have swore I got like a light brown lace. The lace just seemed like it was much darker after I went ahead and cut it and put it. So I don't know what it was because it just seems like I was having a very hard time concealing my lace with this particular unit originally. And I'm like, maybe it's because you can see it. Maybe I got makeup in it. I didn't know. Now I'm able to, you know, get through it and be all right. But it took a, it took a while and I didn't know what that was. I did. I usually... I'm um, like specify I want light brown lace but from now on I'm gonna actually ask for transparent lace because that actually seems to work much better for me because I noticed that when I do like 613 hair or even when it's 613 wigs it's easier to conceal that lace than it is for like when you bleach your knots because it changes the color so transparent I'm with that all day okay transparent works so for as far as this wig is concerned, there are a couple of things about it that I'm not super, super excited about, which was, I told you guys, which was the track issue of me parting it right here because I did part it very far over. So I wanted to be able to have that option because you guys know I hate when people part their hair and then it be like right here. That's not a side part. That is an off-center missile part. That was one thing that it... it kind of irritated me. Then the other thing that I didn't really like about this hair was the fact that it wasn't full. That's the thing, you know, it, it wasn't full. Um, I could have put some tracks in here because there is space in the back. Um, I could have put tracks, but I wasn't married to the idea. And again, this isn't for me. So I was like, I'm gonna try to see if I could be okay with just this much. So that was the thing. It's like, you should, they should give you options to have fuller, you know, wigs and then non fuller wigs. You know, the density you should be able to pick. Even though there's tracks in the back, you should be able to pick your density because you're buying it like this. But for the average person, like I said, this definitely, so this is what it looks like all pulled to the front. So this is how thick and this is how full it actually is. And again, like I said, I really like it because 
I curl and, and I cut layers into it. And you guys know, if you cut layers into some hair, girl, run for cover. Because when you curl it, it might look like a nice little thin mess. But it's actually not. It's really nice. I, I did, however, have to put quite a lot of hairspray due to the simple fact that my hair was not as full in order for it to stay because it did want to go limp. If I have to give it a 1 to 10, I will give it a, an 8 because I didn't like the way that the tracks are. And the tracks on this unit... Um, they were not bleachable, meaning because they sold the tracks down, when I went over them with bleach, they didn't, it was because they're so tight on there, they didn't want to necessarily bleach. So I had to, I really, if I wanted this to all be 613, that wasn't going to happen. Because even at the roots, I, that my roots would have been real weird here in the back. Now, as far as the whoever sold it to the track, they sold it so tight that if I don't pull this wig all the way down then i'm gonna get that buckling effect which i don't really like that was my one gripe with this that's why i had to put all this hairspray on this side because you will be if this, right here is a track you will be able to tell there's a track right there so in person no you can't tell it look like i just smoothed the stank out of my hair but i know that there's a track there and if the wind was to blow all the hairspray and the gossipy glue spray that i put it ain't going nowhere but if i wanted my hair to be a little bit on the softer side at the top that would have been been a bit of a problem so for those who are kind of new to this just I would me personally I think they retail for the same price I would just buy a cap buy the the 360 band then buy the actual hair and then do it myself as opposed to letting them do it because if you let them do it you're gonna gonna be stuck with it and then you have to work around it versus what you can do so if you guys are interested in this hair from Hot Beauty Hair, please hit the links below. Let me know how you guys like this look. Let me know how you liked my intro. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace. Yes, Beyonce.